Hey guys, Russ here. I want to address a support question that I got from one of our members, Sam, last night, and it relates to interest-based questions. When we're working out simple interest, uh, there's a formula that we need to use, and, and I think this is probably the second time I've had a member ask this question, and there's a little mistake that we're making uh, that's causing some problems, so I want to rectify that in this video. So with this formula here, what we have is at the top, we've got interest, and then principal, the rate, and then the time or the term. And what we need to do with this formula is to identify which part of this little formula here it is that we're looking for. So the question might be, uh, what is the interest rate if someone borrows X amount and they pay this much interest and they have a loan for X amount of years? What is the interest rate that they would pay? So if it's the interest rate that we need, to find, then the rate would be equal to the, the rest of this formula. Now we've discussed this in previous instructional videos, so I won't go into too much depth, but we need to apply the formula this way now, because we know what we're looking for is the rate, okay, over here. So now this becomes the interest divided by the principal multiplied by the time. So let's look at the actual equation uh, that Sam was having some trouble with. So let me put this back over here because it's important to use that formula uh, to follow the appropriate steps. And that is our principal multiplied by the time. All right, so the question was the interest is two, uh, sorry, $20,700. That's the total interest paid on the loan. Now we don't know what the rate is, but we do know the original principal was four six triple O, so $46,000. Now we know that the time or the term of the loan was five years. Okay, so what we need to do is, is really this calculation in order to determine what the, the rate is. Now, it's just not possible to divide this equation into $20,700. We, we can't do that. We need to convert this into a single dollar amount first. And so what we need to do is the multiplication here. All right, so when we multiply 46,000 times, uh, times five, being the term, we end up with 230,000, so $230,000. Now that we have this number, given that we've done this calculation here, now we can divide that number into the interest, or the $20,700 on the top. All right, so when we do that, let's have a look over here, we'll make some space. We're going to end up with 0 0.09. Now, that's a decimal. What we want to try and do is convert that into a percentage because we're looking for the interest rate, and that's measured as a percentage. So I simply multiply by 100, and if you were to do that, your decimal place would end up over here. So we end up with 9, and we can display that as a percentage. And that gives us our answer. Our answer is 9%. Okay, so to link that uh, back up to the rate here, which is what we were looking for. All right, so that's how we get to that rate. Now, let's discuss the error. What was happening with uh, Sam and another member um, is that when completing our online practice exams and getting this particular practice question, um, the explanation at the end of the exam. So when you finish doing your exams, you've done all the questions or you've run out of time, the report will display. Now, in the, in the answer section or the explanation next to each of the questions that you got in your practice exam will be the raw formula to show you the formula or the calculation that you should have done to get to the correct answer. And so that raw formula would be displayed like this. Okay, 46,000 multiplied by the time, or the uh, term, or the time, either or. Now, some members were getting this answer. They were getting an answer of 2.25. Oh, Russ, in the answer it says the that 9% is correct. I, don't, I just don't understand. I'm getting 2.25. Now, if you're getting 2.25, I'd suggest that you didn't do the correct calculation, and in fact, what you've done when you've seen the report is to look at that and say, oh, well, let me follow that calculation. And people have literally done 20,700 divided by 46,000 times 5. If you did that, you would get this number of 2.25, but of course, that's not the calculation that should be done. We don't follow this process. Remember, if we go back to here, 
we need to follow this process. We need to do that calculation first in order to come up with this number and then we can divide it. So we go back to, to here. We shouldn't be dividing these numbers. This is simply the raw calculation. But keep in mind what should happen first is this calculation here to bring up that 23000 number and then we could do the dividing. Okay, so this is the raw calculation that you're looking at, but you've got to keep in mind it's this order uh, or this calculation here that has to happen first before you could then divide uh, these two numbers. All right, so back to here, if you sort of just lock that into memory, that's what we need to do to ensure that we come up with 9% and not 2.25%, which is really the result of simply following from left to right this particular uh, calculation. But it gets so important that we do it in the correct order. All right, so just go back to there and leave it on that screen there just to finish up. Make sure you got that image in mind. This is the important part here. We've got to do that calculation first before we divide. If you do that, you'll end up with this decimal. And then we can convert it by multiplying it by 100 to get our, our percentage, which is the interest rate that we were looking for. All right, Sam, I hope you found that helpful. And for other members who may be falling into the same trap, Keep an eye on this part here to get the appropriate answer.